Back safe and dry in the early hours of the morning. Congratulations, you did very well to get round. Um, for those of you who've been bussed back, um, apologies that you are probably feeling rather hard done to, especially if you were in a fit state to continue. The reason that we had to suspend and then cancel the event was for entrance and staff safety. We got to a point where we had in one checkpoint 16 people who were throwing up. We had somebody heli lifted off the summit of Wernside because they'd sprained their ankle. Um, and we had a number of hypothermic casualties, one of whom was taken to hospital. At that point, I'm afraid, the plug was pulled. So it was purely with safety in mind. We have a massive, massive team of staff who've made such a fantastic job of getting you guys down. And I'm going to get emotional because they've just been so fantastic, as of you. We're all knackered as well, which doesn't help, so excuse me, I'm a bit, I'm a Pisces, so I do look. Um, basically, what's going to happen is if you've finished under your own steam and you've got here without being forcibly brought back, you will receive your finisher certificate as normal. Nothing has changed with that. If you are forcibly removed because of the safety measures, you will also receive a finisher's certificate, okay? Because we know how important it is to you that you've got your little piece of paper at the end and you'll get your tallies and everything. Um, basically, what we're going to do is have a results list of competitive finishers and a results list of um, forcibly removed finishers. So that at least acknowledges that we know you could have got round to the finish and that you were able to get round to the finish. So hopefully that will tick a few people's boxes and we won't be worrying. In terms of the um, ultra running points, what we're going to speak to, we're going to try and speak to the UK and the uh, what's the letters, whoever they are, um, and try and sort out the points. So if you were using this as a qualifier um, for that race, we'll make sure that they understand the situation and what happened. Uh, the other things that we've been asked about are if this was your tenth year and you're a veteran, do you still qualify as being a veteran? Yes, even if you were removed. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that anybody asked. I can't think of anything. Is anybody else concerned about anything? Or does anybody want to ask any questions about what was done and why it was done? Please feel free. We'd rather you ask. Yeah. Could I just ask, what, when, when was that decision made? 1.41 this morning. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> not I, that I, not I, I spent all night writing notes and recording things. <laughs> 1.41 this morning we actually and made the announcement to our checkpoint that hold you at a checkpoint and not let you continue. And that was so that we could assess number one the weather, number two the contingency to get you all down should the event get you know get worse and worse and also so that we could assess the medical needs of the people that we had at the checkpoints. So that was why you were held. We, the plan was to give you waiting time at that location so that if we could get things going safely that you would be able to continue. Yeah. Albeit you'd have had a bit of time, you know, you'd have got a bit cold, you would have been able to continue. However, the number of casualties and the number of ill people was still rising at that point. The medical cover we needed to get in rose and then the decision had to be made. It was me. I, I, I was the one who had that job. I backed it up. <laughs> um, but, all of the committee were in support, and everybody we spoke to was, and thank you for being so concerned about it. Because we know you <laughs> Somebody said happy birthday to you earlier. Well, 50th, that's the first time we've had to do it. But my final words are what we wanted was 500 people back here who could come back again next year. We didn't want anybody in a hospital and we didn't want anybody who didn't make it back. We're pleased to report everybody's down off the fells, the checkpoint teams are all down off the fells. It's been a mammoth operation and everybody's completely buggered. But we've, we've, we've done it and you've done it. So what we're going to try and do now is, is carry on in the true scouting fashion. We've got um, a presentation of the prizes which we're intending to hold um, around about 8 o'clock as soon as we can. So we can give out the prizes to the people who have um, got round and won. We can give out the trophies to the people who have been given those. If we haven't got all the information then we'll just hold them back and we'll put posts up on the website and we'll send the information out with the results. Um,
Um, so we'll do as much as we can to carry on as normal in true Yorkshire scouting spirit. And then we'll let you guys all get home for a very well-deserved shower, rest and whatever else you want to do with Sunday afternoon. So thank you again. Not quite being what we planned, but hopefully you've enjoyed what you've done with the event. Um, and you appreciate why we had to do what we had to do. I'm sure you all remember it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I won't be forgetting it, that's for sure. I think I'm going to walk in next year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it from the other side. But thanks again. If you're going on for the presentation, thanks for coming. Please drive safely. And please come back next year. Absolutely. We'll see you next year.